everyone what is going on everyone welcome back to another episode of the let's play uh they call me the toaster and today we are going to be recuperating uh from our last adventure so let's get right into the episode so i just barely made it out with my life over here so now that i finally made it back to my house it's time to get organized so i think what i need to do first and foremost is to uh, create some armor for myself. Uh, so I just wanted to check my surroundings over here. And after I make some armor, I think what I should do is make a chest room just to become a little bit more organized. So just for now, I'm going to put all this stuff away. So let's make some iron armor over here. So I'll need a helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Perfect, nothing like a fresh set of armor. Let's put a nice shield. I don't need the shield right away, but at least I have a full one. And I need a diamond sword. There is uh, no doubt about that. So I'll put two there and I have a stick. So let's make a diamond sword. Awesome. And get rid of this stone sword. Okay. And yeah, here was my, my nether run. I try to keep it organized, but now I just have way too much stuff. So... Before I make my chest room, let's see if there's anything I could do with my farms over here so that they can be done at the same time. I don't know how much more wheat I have. I have one there. And I think I had some brought back from the villages that I explored. So let's see if I could try to breed some of those cows. So what do we got here? Yeah, we got 27. This is good. And... Yeah, so let's go and breed these cows. Oh yeah, we got a decent amount over here. So I'm trying to use an even amount. So I started off with 27. Now I have 17, so I've used 10. So I should have 5 calves. Let's see if anybody else is still like interested. I have one more. Is there one more? Uh, no, I gave that one to a calf. No, I think that was the last one. Okay, no problem. So I'll save these for the next time. And is any of the wheat here available to farm? I mean, there's just one. It's not really such a big deal. Okay, very good. And what about the sugar cane over here? Yeah, this looks like... Um, could definitely be picked up. I could plant some more. Perfect. I'm going to need a lot of sugar cane. Lots and lots of sugar cane because if I do my villager trading, I'm going to need a lot of paper. So I think uh, for now, maybe I'll just expand this farm. Because it, it doesn't really go bad. I mean, once you plant it, you could just break the that part and get more. So... Let's just let's just keep planting it along this river, and uh, I don't want it be I don't want it to be too far so that it doesn't uh, render when I'm outside the chunks. So I'll also plant some on this side as well. I plant on the gravel. Okay, and let's keep going. So I don't like having these spots over here where you end up just going in the water. But I always try to clear this out. It just makes it easier to uh, to break them and farm them. Okay, you see like this one should be broken. This one here too. So four, one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. So now that my farms are up and running again, let us start making that chest room. And it's nighttime, so I think I'm just going to skip today. And good night. Hi, good morning. If you love feeling refreshed after a good night's sleep, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you did. Okay, so let's make a chest room. So what I need to do is expand this out. A lot. 
So let's just dig a little bit and see what we can come up with. Um, I think in the beginning, I think having about 10 chests or so is pretty good for your first real chest room. I was never really the type of person that would um, always have one chest per item, especially in the beginning. It's just a lot of wood. So let me just get a little organized here. So um, I need my blocks. I really don't have that much, huh? I'll use the diorite as blocks. Okay, and then I should have my sword. And my bucket of water. Where is that? Oh, I changed into a bucket of lava. Okay, no problem. So that should be okay for now. As long as I have my my blocks that I could use, uh, pick, my torches, my sword, and some food, I should be okay for now. So let's kind of dig out this area over here. All right. Place on a torch just to light it up. So I think at one point I'm going to pop out on the side of the mountain. If I just keep digging like this. So let's just see what happens. I think this is going to end up being a hallway. I don't think I'm going to place my chests right here. I think this is going to lead to other types of areas. And generally I like to dig underground. Because I find that building above ground, it takes a lot of resources, it takes a lot of blocks. And I mean, I can get stone very easily, but it's like, I don't like my whole setup to be just stone. You know, I like to have a bit more, you know, intricacies. And if you dig underground, you end up with so many more different types of blocks, like andesite, for example. I love when the floors are made of andesite or even the walls like it's such a shiny smooth polished type of texture and i think it's so nice uh did i have a diamond pick i did have a diamond pick okay perfect okay this is a pretty decent hallway so far so i just want to see what the side of the mountain looks like just so i can prepare myself so i'm digging i'm about here yeah oh so if anything i think i should just miss it I don't know what that zombie's doing there. Yeah, I'm very, very close to the edge over here. So that's okay. Um, but I think it would be nice to have like that area exposed. And maybe just put some glass there just so you have a nice lookout. So I think if I just start right here and dig out a little bit. Oh yeah, there I saw it just a little bit. Okay, where is this? Okay. So I just passed it. So if I do one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so I could like tunnel out this whole area here. And let's just close that and place some torches, spawns in here. Okay. So you know what? This is a pretty decent, pretty decent amount of space over here. Maybe I'm just going to clear this out and then also make the same thing on the other side so that it looks pretty equal. So let's just tunnel this out. I'll leave that torch there. Uh, what's the name of this thing? This is diorite. I'm not a big fan of the diorite. I don't find it looks good. If I wanted sort of white type of blocks, my go-to is... Um, like nether quartz. I like making the floors out of quartz. It's like nice white marble floors. And it's really easy because you just make them into slabs and then you can make your floor out of that. So you end up, you know, uh, being really resourceful with that. But other than that, I mean, you can't beat the classic stone blocks with... Oh, I don't know what he's dying to, I, but I hear him dying over there. You can't beat the stone blocks with the uh, the wood floor. I mean, that's just the classic look. So I think, you know, for my, for like my little entrance area over here. Oh, you see here, I, I, I came out. So here would be nice to have like a lot of glass. Do I have sand? I don't think I got any sand. No, I don't have sand, so I can't make windows right now. So I'm just going to... 
where would I want the windows? Right here. Uh, I guess I would just make like a... Oh. Oh, he's building. He's building his own thing over there. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to be living next to an Enderman. Yeah, so I think maybe just... This area right here. I think it would look nice because you still got that kind of generation. You know, you still got the grass blocks and all that. So I think that would be nice. And then if my glass blocks are there, then I need to fill in this wall. I can't just have like glass blocks like protruding out. Okay, so I ended up digging three on this side. And I think I'll do the same thing here. So one, two, three. Three. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so let's just dig out this amount as well. Yeah, so what I really need to start doing is to start planning my base. So I know I need a chest room. Um, but I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could put in there. I mean, the potions right away for sure. I need to go back to the village to get that brewing stand though. And then once, so I mean, that's part of the villager farm, so maybe that could that could hold off for a bit. Um, so maybe I'll just start making a chest room. I think the chest room should be easily accessible because, I mean, I go through the chest all the time. And you don't want to put it like super far away where it's like, oh, if you need something, you have to end up going so far away. So maybe I will put it here. Um, not on the side of the window, but maybe on this side over here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I don't want it to, so if I'm putting the chest here, I don't want it to only have like two blocks of space. So I think what I'm going to do is break this place over here so I can put my chests in here. Yeah, this is, this is good. And of course, I should make this a little nicer. So you know what? Maybe I'll start making some stone. Do I have a lot of coal? I don't. I don't have a lot of coal. Six, seven, eight. So that'll be it for that. And what else do I got? Okay, some nice copper. Oh, some more iron. Perfect. I already did start making stone. Okay, that's good. And if I do five, I guess I'll just cook what I have. 5 times 8 is 40, so I should end up with 12, so that should be enough. Okay, so if I put my chests, I think I would start like this. I would do 1, 2, a double chest here, double chest here, and a double chest here. And that's 3, 6, no, I'll need one more. So it would be blank, and then this is the first spot of the chest, and the second spot of the chest. So I need to dig out just this much more. I want it to look even, for sure. So if the first chest is in the corner, then the last chest has to also be touching a corner. And I think for now, I'm not going to worry so much about the walls and making my place look nice. I would put it like that. So that way I get four chests. And if I put a second row, that's eight chests. And then if I put a third row, that is 12 chests. So that's a good amount of chests to have. So do I have any chests currently in here? I have a minecart with a chest. Can I separate them? I need a rail to put this down on. No, this is a one item thing. Okay, no problem. So, and do I have any chests in here? No, but I have lots of wood, so that's okay. So let's start with the spruce wood, and at least it'll make like regular colored chests. This place is a little dark. Okay. So let's make some chests. And where's my chest? 25. Well, if I want 12, I'm going to need 24, but I already have two. So. So if I dump. 
What's going on here? It's acting up. How many chests can I make now? 17. So let's start with that. So I'll put one here, one here. Bang. Bang. Two. Okay. And I'll put a torch in between all of them. Okay, great. And do I have enough for item frames? I don't really have that much leather. I had a feeling it was bedtime. My internal clock was sleeping. So this is how I'm going to organize my chest. The first one's going to be blocks. The second one is going to be items. The third one is going to be farm slash mobs. So anything like natural. And the fourth one, I, I guess nether stuff for now. So let's just start. So I'll put my blocks in here. So I got cobble. I got diorite. I have stone, andesite, granite, dirt. Wood counts. Wood counts as blocks, but I'll keep it a little separate. This is nether. So I'll put this in the nether chest. Next, we have uh, items. So, you know, iron, copper, my lead. Uh, what else are item? Boats, my bow. Flint and steel, gold. Probably keep that with like the other stuff. Uh, Nautilus shell, you know, just this random stuff. Um, okay, the magma cream can go in here. Now we have farm and natural stuff. So let's start with farming, beets, and that. And then we have mob stuff. I'll start that a little lower. Um, and wood. Technically, the stick belongs with the wood, so that could be there. So, yeah, I'm not even going to... I'm just going to fill up my inventory and do everything one at a time. Okay. So, what do we got for blocks? Wool is a block. It's kind of a special block. Uh, what else we got? Not much here. So, here we got more iron. Okay. And then we got our redstone. And our lapis, yeah. And slime balls, absolutely. String, that's a mob drop. Minecart with chest, yeah, that's an item. The copper, the leather is farm. Iron doors, yeah, that's an item. Golden apple, I'll count that as an item. I don't think it's really farmable. Uh, this, I mean, it kind of is farmable. But I'm just going to put it in here for now. My leads, yeah, they all go in here. Uh, so my sticks, they go there. The bow goes here, furnaces, minecart with chests, diamonds, absolutely. That should be a little bit higher. Try to keep the bows together. Arrows, absolutely. Arrows go with the bows. What else? Books, that's a good one. Also got rails. Rails, I try to keep that stuff together. So my minecart with rail, that can go there. Uh, lava bucket, absolutely. Uh, chests, for sure. Okay, so now here, mob drops, this, this, and this. Um, yeah, I missed this gold over here. So in the nether, I got this. And, oh, I had an iron helmet. Well, that's okay, now I have more. And uh, this will be my garbage for now. Stone sword. I definitely don't want that. Alright, we're making good progress. So... This one is good. Oops. And we'll take all this other stuff too. Okay. So rails. Rails kind of go down here. Emeralds, absolutely. That should be up here with this stuff. Melons, no gunpowder, no blaze rods. Any more items? Bread? No, not really. So I see a lot of blocks here. So cobble deep slate, gravel. Tough. This is kind of like a special thing. Keep this on the side. Dripstone block. See, like this stuff, like I won't really get much more of it. So I'll try to keep that a little separate. My cobblestone for sure. What are the blocks? I got more wood. Um, okay, yeah. Item crafting table. For sure, that's an item. Now here in the farm, so we got melons, uh, carrots, melon seeds, mushrooms. This is food. 
Um, I'll try to keep this food together. So beetroots. Well, what are you going to do? And then we got the flowers and trees. So that's farming as well. That I'll try to keep on its own. Name tag. Oh, perfect. This is. I'm going to save that for George. Um, yeah, so farming stuff. Uh, of course, the pumpkin. I got this wood over here. This is a mob drop. And this is more nether stuff. Mob drop. And also the spruce saplings. This is an item. Okay, we're making good progress. Just have a couple more things to finish up. Do I have an axe? I don't have an axe. I'm just going to break these by hand. Okay, we're almost there. So what do we got for blocks? Uh, nothing. Oh yeah, so wood. So I'll try to keep the... Uh, the logs with themselves. Okay, that's good. Three more chests. Okay. And then I have some more of this nether stuff over here. Nether. Okay, and that's it. Perfect. I'm all organized. All right, I think this is a good place to stop the video. Uh, if you liked it, please drop a like. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me if you think that I have a good way to organize my chests. And I hope to see you in the next one. Toaster out.